Søren Brunak, what will be your group's contribution? Yeah, we will work within the new area called the metagenomics, where one studies not just one organism, but uh, many organisms in, in, in one go. So communities of bacteria uh, who live together and share the, the jobs, uh, so to speak. Uh, this is what metagenomics uh, is about, and, and this is what we will contribute to the center. But why is it that you decided to focus on metagenomics in your research? Yeah, basically evolution has had millions of years to uh, construct a lot of uh, organisms which are really professional in, uh, in, in, in biochemistry. So we are hooking into the biodiversity on, on, on the planet and uh, metagenomics is about studying how organisms work together and how they can Uh, handle the biochemistry they need to, to handle in, in the environment they, they, they live in. What other areas of interest would you think that you might be focusing on? Yeah, within biology, the tradition has been that either you worked in, in microbiology or you maybe worked in, in, in higher organisms, like, like, like humans. The fascinating aspect of, of metagenomics is that we are sort of combining the two because, for example, in our bodies, there, there's a lot of, of uh, bacteria living. So they are living in, in a synergistic way uh, with us. Uh, so when we study many of these um, uh, bacterial communities, uh, we often look into environments that are sort of inside animals, for example, or, or humans. So in metagenomics, we work across biology from the simplest organisms To, to, to the most complex ones. Will that be in focus of your research at the center? Yeah, because we are interested in the bacteria that lives on the skin, that lives in the oral cavity, that lives in, 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 in the gut. But of course, the purpose here is to discover biochemical solutions and pathways that can be used in the cell factory uh, context, that can be used at, at, as production Uh, models and, 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 and use what, what the nature has, um, ha, has achieved in, in this area. You say production models and, and something will come out of that. What would you think would come out of your research in practical terms? What products do you think can be established after your study in cell factories? Yeah, so we are not so much uh, product focused. I mean, uh, we are more working from, from sort of a decision being made on the product. What would we like the organism to do? Then we are the uh, guys who, who hunt for the solutions in, in, um, in, in, in the world uh, and, and, and locate organisms which, which can sort of contribute to a design Uh, for a cell factory that will that will uh, make that po pos possible to produce that product. You may not like to go into time frame, but uh, let me ask you, how soon will there be a breakthrough in your research? I think that depends a lot on 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 the uh, on the product. I mean, uh, what what is uh, fascinating with with metagenomics is that that we are of course not just active here. A, l a lot of groups worldwide are, are active in sequencing bacteria from all kinds of environments. So, so we can not only use the data we produce ourselves, but essentially data produced all over the, the world. So it's, it's, uh, there's really a window of opportunity now for making these discoveries. It's very hard to, to predict because this is largely unknown territory. Unknown territory. I mean, we, we, we don't know ex essentially how these organisms precisely work together and what they can do. But could you say whether there's a certain product line where you think that you are most likely to have a breakthrough? No, I, I, I think that, um, that I would rather say, say not, because uh, it, it is amazing how, how many different types of biochemistry nature has realized on, on, on this planet. So given a product, we can sort of hook into that biodiversity and analyze the DNA that we sequence in the computer because this is basically what we do. We analyze the, the, the data in the computer and then we, we uh, contribute to the cell factory design. So metagenomics is a very broad technique that, that, that goes into cell factory design uh, virtually for, for essentially for, a, for any product, I would say. Could you say whether there will be an impact, what impact, Uh, if there is a breakthrough in your research in cell factories? 
No, I think it is obvious that that we can, uh, I mean, save uh, oil. We can uh, um, find ways to to uh, produce uh, in 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 a sustainable way. I mean, I would be very surprised if we not with the metagenomics data in hand uh, can make breakthroughs in, in in this area. But it is very very. Um, difficult and also dangerous, I would say, to, to promise uh, too much uh, up front within a certain uh, period of, of, um, of time. So in four or five years, you probably will have much better, better answers to this. With, with, all, with all the data that, that is just coming out now, I would say four or five years is really sort of a time frame where we should be able to, to discover something that is really useful that can um, get get this thing going um, in, in that period of time. Is that a small revolution that you are in, about to bring about? I think the metagenomics uh, concept is is a revolution. Uh, of course, it has been enabled by the the declining price in, in in DNA sequencing. Without that, it would be impossible. But but it, it becomes so cheap to sequence DNA so that we can get to know what these organisms can do, which genes they have, and so on. Without the DNA sequencing price going down, uh, metagenomics would not be um, a very um, sort of uh, exciting area because it would simply be too, um, too expensive. We should also remember that, that metagenomics is one area, but, but there's also some sister areas called uh, metatranscriptomics, where we um, we look at how the genes are expressed, not only whether they are there or not, but also how they are actually used, how much they are used. There's also something called metaproteomics, where we look at how, how much the proteins are expressed and, and so on. So, so metagenomics, metatranscriptomics, metaproteomics sort of goes together. And, 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 and this is the perspective in this whole area that, that we cannot just look at the DNA, but we can also look at how the genes actually are, are used and sort of create dynamic models of, of how bacteria um, work uh, and other more microorganisms work and especially how they work together. Is it just your group that will focus on this or will the other five groups, five professors, participate in what you just described here? I think that some of the other groups are also interested in, in, in how communities uh, work, for example, Sean Moline's uh, um, uh, group, but working on it from the sequencing end and, and, and from the computational end using the bioinformatics and systems biology uh, toolbox. This is what we will focus on and I think will be pretty unique in, in that in, 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 in the center. Here's the $64,000 question. What is the biggest challenge that the society have in switching from oil-based industry to bio-based industry? I think in this area, the challenge is to get these organisms to do something they are not really designed to do. I mean, uh, uh, organisms are designed uh, in order to defend themselves from, from intrusion and, and uh, I mean, they are not necessarily optimizing what we would like them to optimize. So the big challenge here is to, um, to fool the organism into uh, producing <laughs> our product uh, and, and focusing on that instead of, of um, focusing on what evolution during millions of years actually designed that particular organism to, uh, to do.